Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and in making my last video on the Styco Compact Portable Antenna Kit, I managed to fracture one of the telescoping elements here, and I made mention that it's no big deal because I know how to fix these, and I'm going to show you how I do so in case you're ever in this situation with a telescoping antenna. This may help you out. This particular antenna here, the element is retained with a Phillips headed screw. It looks like a number one. So we'll go ahead and remove this screw and remove our element. Well, let's study the nature of our fracture here. You can see that we're sheared on this side and it's compressed on this side from where it fell and it was resting against that positive stop. So what we can try to do is we can try to straighten this out. I don't think we're going to have much success doing that. Oh, surprises me. This is a brass antenna element, and the brass elements are much easier to work with, as you saw, than the stainless steel ones. One of the problems is, is like a, the proverbial bent push rod, it's never going to be straight again. So you can kind of check your straightness by rolling it back and forth. This is just going to fracture again at some point. So like fixing a tent pole, what we're going to do is we're going to build a sleeve and we're going to make the sleeve out of this uh, brass tubing you can get from the hardware store. This is like quarter inch tubing. So we don't need a very long repair sleeve. So I've taken and put some masking tape on here so we can make our cut right along the edge of the masking tape. Now you can use a tubing cutter for this kind of work if you desire to do so. The only problem is, is that kind of compresses the edge of this tubing and that's undesirable because this is a very good fit for our particular antenna. So the tool I'm going to use is just an Atlas Super Saw. These are pretty common in hobbyist circles and they're useful for a lot of stuff around the shop and they're not too expensive and it cuts this tubing really good. So let's go ahead and cut our repair sleeve. So after you're finished cutting, use your X-Acto knife and you want to put a slight chamfer on the inside of your repair sleeve. And then you want to finish smoothing out your edges and I'm just going to use an emery board for that. So now you can see our cut end and we've got a slight chamfer inside of here which is exactly what we want and this was the factory cut end here. Now we need to prep our element and this being brass what we need to do is is we need to take our emery board and we need to remove the finish from this antenna all the way around because how we're going to fix this is is we're going to flow solder into this and it's going to be a nice solid repair it'll be stronger than it was originally after you've finished removing the finish from the area we're working clean up your work with the alcohol prep pad and clean the inside of your piece of tubing now take your work and slide your repair splint on and then you're going to line this up on here because you want to make sure to line that up and then you're going to look and see where this bushing needs to reside and that's as close to this joint as you want to get because you don't want this element to sit there like that you want it to bear up solidly on the element itself all right, let's get ready to tin our work here. So take some flux and flux the outside. Now I'm going to take my repair bushing here and I'm going to run it on side there. And then that's going to help spread the flux around and it's going to tin the inside of my bushing or my splint. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean this flux off of here with an applicator. Tin your tip.
And all we're doing right now is, is we are getting our solder wicked onto our work here. Well, now that we're tinned up, we can take our splint and slide our splint on and line it up where our mark is and let's solder this together. And our repair is completed. I've polished up the splint and you can see that I've flooded the connection with solder. It's very important whenever you're doing this kind of work to pre tend the element because that guarantees that you've almost got like an x-ray quality solder joint inside of here. And this is much stronger now than it was originally with this splint. It'll probably break up here if this ever happens again rather than at this joint. There still is a slight bend to the element as you can see here but again like a push rod once one of these is bent it's very difficult to completely straighten it out we've placed our element back on our antenna and you can see it resides fine there and then when we open it up you can see that we have plenty of clearance here to allow the element to extend fully like it did originally so if you're ever in a situation where you have to repair a telescoping antenna now you know how to. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.